on, yours is over here. You get the kingdom position. Let's not go after Stripe ten times today. You guys really kept me busy yesterday. Hi. Hi. Let's eat your breakfast. You have your own bowls and good stuff, okay? Could you eat a little bit of the meat first? And then eat the dry chow. Cats weren't really meant to eat dry chow. They were meant to eat meat. No? All right. I can't have him coming back over here trying to steal this meat. I did see Panther on the front porch. He smiled in at me. Let me call for Morris. Now, I'm sure some places in Raleigh had a lot of rain. Don checked the rain gauge last night and said we only had a tenth of an inch. It's really pretty out here this morning. It's in the 60s. The high is only going to be in the 70s. It's very pleasant at the moment. Short sleeve, comfortable, not humid, very nice. We're supposed to have more rain this afternoon. Who knows? Hey, Stripey. I heard the babies chattering at Papa Bluebird yesterday. They got to be getting close to flying the nest. You probably can't see it, but the maple leaf viburnum that's planted along the little walkway there, it's all leafed out. Not exciting yet, right? But it's clearly healthy and not dead. And um, Panther's out here this morning. I'm very relieved about that. He, he, you know, he stayed down by the creek until late day yesterday, which is what happens whenever he gets scared and gets into it with somebody. But I don't see any injuries on him, and he's, I fed him a special little dinner at midnight last night. Make sure he's getting plenty of access to food, and all is good this morning. Morris finally showed up out back, but he came down the hill, so he wasn't in the front yard. All good. It's still really pretty out there. Uh, we're headed to the golf course, the Hilltop Needmore Town Park and Preserve, to do our walk. Yeah, really, it just doesn't get any prettier than that, although we're expecting it to cloud up almost instantaneously per the weather guy last night um, when the storms for this afternoon start to crank up. Oh, that's just... Wow. <laughs> Gotta love people. Turnabout's fair play. And, uh... Anyway, we're gonna go pick up this maple tree from a local guy that, um has grafted his own. I'm really excited about it. It's a Jordan or something similar to a full moon if you wanted to look it up. Um, should have a not red or green but sort of different shades in the leaves and a very unique shaped leaf too. I'm excited about it. It's Mother's Day's weekend. Happy Mother's Day everybody. clubhouse here at the Cookie Creek Golf Course is where they intend to move early voting out of the council gym that we were in. Um, I'm not sure why they felt like this is the right place. Uh, it's pretty far away. Yeah, the council gym is more centrally located for Fu Fuquay's getting a very spread out shape now. Anyway, it was late on finishing being restored and um, not yeah, early. not an early voting site. I guess they it had published posted. it, but yeah. then it didn't work out. But still coming. Still coming. But it's just not very centrally located. I don't know what's wrong with the gym. The gym's big enough. It didn't have air, but they had brought in a couple of those um, units. And I didn't think it was miserable in there when we were there. Well, if I had to guess, they cut the grass here on Thursdays or Fridays. Yeah, it's because pretty. The grass looks pretty well cut at this point. Yeah, I agree. It was definitely recent. Yep. Yeah. He's listening to the birds, enjoying the clouds, thinking about how high that hill is on the other side when we try to get out of this yeah, place. 
<laughs> yeah, there's definitely some rolling hills over here, which is why the town had such a good time during the last snow coming out here with the sleds. I don't know exactly where they went, but here might not be too bad because it goes down and then it goes back up. So that keep you, there's a few places here you go down and you're gonna end up hitting something and fast. I'm just thinking maybe they started up there and were able to cross the road and then go down, but then the upward hill on the other side. I just, I don't know exactly which hill here they thought was the best. Yeah. There's lots of choices. Well, I'm glad I brought my little hat because I can feel the heat on, you know, on, <laughs> on the material on the top of my head. So if I didn't have the hat, I would really be baking. We made use of the restroom facilities over here. Both sides have a restroom and that's a great quality. Yeah. Clean, available, reasonably located, all that good stuff. Yep. As like I said, Lake um, Johnson, they des it's a three mile loop and they desperately need a bath. They need a bathroom halfway. There's not even a business or anything you could get out to. <laughs> What's that? You're saying this red line starts the hill? Yeah. I do believe you are correct. I'm gonna do it though. That's I'm gonna right. do it. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. This is I have um good news today. All of my lab work came back normal. Oh, that's right. Every single number was in the green. Yeah. Including the camera and the stuff. Which came mm -hmm. back in overnight. Um, so I'm in a better mood today. Yeah, she is. For at least, I, I start worrying about a month in advance of the test. <laughs> I got, we got at least five months worry-free now. I don't care if I hurt or whatever. I, I'm not dying this week, so that's, that's right. Not Doesn't dying. Doesn't mean I'm not hurting, but I would yeah. have to say yesterday and today is not uh, bothering me as bad. So I'll take it not bothering me while I can. Don's doing a hit up the hill. I totally released him from any necessity to stay back here with me while I walk it. Go, Donnie, go! Go, Donnie, go! He's doing great. I will make it up at a nice, even, all-day pace. He's still going. He's doing great! Go, Donnie, go! It's uphill. All the way to the end. It's almost flat right there for like a half a second and then it goes back up again. <sighs> One foot in front of the other. Obviously, I'm not doing too bad if I can still talk, right? I figured you'd come back for me. Of course. How was it? Oh, it was pretty intense. It was, huh? <laughs> yeah. Um, I have to say my heart gives out before my muscles do. I got a little, a little burn when I first started because I tore out and I eased up a little bit so I could make it. And then up this part right here, they started burning a little bit more. But the bulk of the run, my heart, said, it was just telling me this is it. This is all you got, buddy. There was no other gear. <laughs> reached down into it. I got to the top. It was 160 something at the top. So at 220 minus my age, basically anything over 155 is, you know, max. Max. Huh. So I was a few over my uh, standardized heart max. Instead of going on the blue trail to get in the rest of today's mileage, we're going to take the pedestrian tunnel and go check out the construction on the other side. We're not going to walk the whole other side. We're just going to go over there and check out the construction. So what I want to know is how is that metal enough to hold up the road? First of all, it's a quarter inch and it's got those waves in it. This is like really, really strong. Okay. I trust you. I mean, obviously it's holding up well. It's just curious. If it didn't have that corrugated pattern or that wavy pattern, it wouldn't be very strong. Looks like we got a site plan 
for what's going on. I think this is mostly just trying to tell people where not to go because of construction. Yeah. So three future buildings. But it's the senior center, the community center. Huh. Well, let's go just a little farther. I don't know how they're gonna where they're gonna choose to cut the road in over here because right now there's a road down there on the side behind that development behind those trees. But I don't know what the road plan is for getting to the new community center. They're not closing down the one at South Park, they're just adding a second one. I don't know which one will do which. But obviously they have all the ball fields over at South Park and they have a little exercise room over there and I kind of doubt much of that's going to change. You know, there's no athletic fields over here, at least not yet. So the trail was a loop and now you can't go that way which is not a problem. We can just cut over to the other part of the trail here and, and head back because we weren't trying to walk super far over here. But it follows the trail going up that way and then there's even something happening Donnie down there on the other side of the trail. Yeah, the lady's walking on that so that they've got the path through there. They just, it's not paved anymore. Huh. Well, we came back to study it and we figured out that this is the tunnel and I guess this is Hilltop need more road up here but taking this um, architectural style drawing and hoping that we would be able to make some sense of it um, I'm thinking it's all nice and good that they printed it out but for a person that walks the trail for this to be helpful it's not that helpful this is just plenty he has so many nice varieties this one on the end for sure. That's very close to the one that I wanted. That's a Joe Hen. Okay. Cool. Rick has a lovely yard and a great selection of plants. Um, we rushed through a little bit because of the coming storm, but uh, I got what I wanted, two maples, not one, <clears throat> and uh, a cute little false cypress. I bet a lot of the people in the neighborhood have plants from his house. I would say the rest of the border was prettier than the part here at the, at the street. Yeah, but he wanted to see the house. Right, but the border all along the backyard and just maples everywhere and yeah, very pretty. This is his neighbor's yard now, but I bet some of the plants came from Rick's house, especially the maples up there near the front door and yeah. Wow, here on Johnson Pond Road, they finished this bridge way cool you can see the construction That's to the up. east yeah and um nobody behind us don's watching and uh, over to the right yeah wow yeah that crane down there is where we came across on lake wheeler yep the other direction the other direction so this is the first time i've been on this since now uh, yeah me too say in most cases the transformation of the landscape over here is uh, for it to put in the rest of the turnpike is worth it. The only place I'm concerned to see the impact is over at Holly Springs Kildare Farm Road because they've done extensive tearing up and restructuring over there and there's a few homes affected which you don't really want to see but yeah but that also this here was fine. Right well 401 is going to be a major interchange so that's why they're having to churn so much up there Marianne's having to go around jog in the road and then Kildare Farm that's going to be a, 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 a inter, a, an on-ramp to it and it's going to be a big turn there also so um, those are why they're putting it's taking so much more land at those spots because those are the interchanges where you're going to be able to uh, get on and off of the tollway we might would have stopped at Walmart and or Harris Teeter, but not with the impending storm. Yeah, yeah. As it is, we'll be lucky if we get jewels in the garage before it starts to rain. I wasn't too long at the at the plant no. place, but even 10 or 15 minutes was a lot based on the storm prediction center. So Yeah, but he had mostly 
perennials. He didn't have bedding flowers. plants. Bedding right, plant. right. right. He had all shrubs and bushes, trees. Yeah. Just a little bit of FSD today. Show you that Don is using it. Yep. We're waiting for the new update, then we'll do a uh, around town drive again. Yeah, she's made a couple strangeness things. Not, I don't know if it's FSD itself. It's just that the road went one way and she went another. It was. It, she's done it twice in that spot. The first time I was like, huh, I wasn't paying. I don't know that I would knew. She worried about that car coming on the right out of cookout. Yeah. That's why she slowed there. Yeah, well, luckily the Fiat. I worry about them when they do that, too. Well, the lady behind me, I don't know that she's paying attention. She's going to get over, thankfully. Yeah. Well, she was a little, those little zippy cars, I mean, they stop pretty quick, but, you know, there's not much margin of error. Right, well, there was an accident on Hilltop Deedmore, right in front of the park when we were leaving. Somebody went to turn into the park, and somebody else came up behind them pretty hot and heavy. The ones with the, on the pole, the power pole with the red, or yeah. the brown, or rust, that's what they did. That's a new pole. And a new recloser, closer. yeah. Right. That That's thing that I complained about. Yeah, that was what all the traffic jam was about a couple days last I week. I had no trouble with them putting that up there on that pole. Just do it at night. <laughs> Pay a premium and do it at night. We got halogen lights now. There's no excuse for not being able oh, to see. Oh, she's going to mess up again. She's no. going to make the left turn from the right no, lane. No, don't let her do that. Stop her. Stop her. I did. <laughs> Well, it's good I was filming this time. Yes, that traffic. Oh, raindrops on the windshield. I should have turned. Well, I don't really think it'll be faster, but you could turn, you know, between the shopping center up here, but I don't really think it'll be faster. All right, I've had enough excitement. <laughs> Dawn's being brave. She's I won't even do autopilot down this part of Main Street. She's, she's. She followed us. She did a, a turn maneuver back there that she was uh, followed, just followed another vehicle through. Now, see, she sees the yellow light. She did. Wow, she even stopped for the yellow light. Woo! Yeah. And um, she went through an intersection that she usually hesitates several times, twice when she goes through it. But because she was following this pickup truck, she went through it just no problem whatsoever. So, she that's the first time I've noticed that. So, I have to remember to try to test that theory. The visualization surely has a lot going on on Main Street. Model three, uh, Y. Yeah. Ah, through the pedestrian thing and the big pickup truck and the. She did just fine. She did. We got Memorial Day flags up. Yeah. Town went around the last few days and put those up. Uh-oh, I hear raindrops on the window, Donnie. <laughs> yeah, I'm not piddling around too much here. <laughs> All right, we're past the... Well, I'll wait through the intersection. Oh, oh, my God! She did the windshield wipers. <laughs> Is she gonna make it? Yeah, she made yep, it. green light all the way. I'll be glad when she starts taking notice of potholes. Yeah, you and a lot of other Tesla drivers. Because I swear she aims for them. She moves over so she can run over potholes. signal turn signal well, you didn't want her to put it on in advance enough notice to really warn the guy behind her did you all right she did that careful 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 sweetie yeah she tends to swing it a little bit after she thinks she has it yeah 
light could just slow up. She actually did that pretty good. All right. The other thing Don did was put a uh, support system in place for that tree down there. We're going to upright it. Both the pot and the tree are leaning. Um, over time, he put in a system where we could, you know, notch it up just a smidge. And as um, you can plainly see, we haven't gotten any rain other than a sprinkle. So we rushed home, stressed over the storm warnings again, and the pea sized hail, and all that, and nada. Maybe somebody got it. I certainly, yesterday, people had quarter sized hail that was really serious stuff up in apex one of our tesla friends whose car was in the garage um had really serious hail so it's you know things are happening close by and i'm glad we're missing the severe part although a good soaking rain would be totally fine with me at this point so you went to the mailbox you were gone a long time though what what were you doing out there i had this bright idea i said oh i'll just go check the mail and oh while I do that, I'll just walk up there because I'm a little short on my steps. And I'll uh, take the little red wagon and I'll put kittens' plants in them and I'll bring the plants back in the little red wagon. And that was a really, really, really good idea until I started got down to the bottom of the concrete <laughs> hill. And then it wasn't such a good idea, so I ended up doing two hits today. The one over there at the golf course and pulling that wagon up that hill. Yeah, to be clear, this is three 30 pound plant oh, yeah. pots at yeah. least. And it's you brought off close to 100 pounds. And now. you brought all three of them at one time. Of course. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's, they only have Creeping Jenny in them. And I'm going to put some Creeping Jenny in with each of the maple trees. Yep. And split it up. And I'll put some back in those pots with the flowers that I have. But yep. I need to split it up. And I can't do that effectively except for up here with the wheelbarrow yeah. and the dirt. And yeah. the... This is going to be... This is... So you ready for it now? What, bacon? Well, that too. But you know what? I'm going to need one more bag of dirt. Oh, I found a half a bag under the house. So maybe not. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe not. We'll see. But yes, when I redo those pots... The top half I'm putting like yeah. fresh dirt for the for the flowers. So yeah. well, well they must look naked out at the street right now. I oh, feel it does. I feel yeah, bad. Yeah. It's not like I need to go fix it right this minute, except for I don't know what I would put the the creeping jenny in until I have the other pot. Well trust me, you just throw it down on the ground. It'll it'll probably survive anything. Pain in the you know what? <laughs> The Be guy right. over there at the nursery, he started talking all these Latin names and this genus of this plant's the same. And I said, I said, never mind. I'm an IT guy. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Yeah, we don't have Acer Platinum or Plantum. We have Shishawa or yeah, <laughs> some they're, other name. They're day. in the same family. Yeah, this but one. they're not the same. It's not. He had some really unique yeah. varieties over there. I've got tags. I'll, yeah, I, I have. Tags. I yeah. I have to put that in Google yeah. Photos so I can keep it Remember, straight. What yeah, what what? Yeah, what's plan. this one, kitten? I'm like, oh, let me go. Let Google tell us. There's a little bit of thunder. No rain though. I've got these two repotted. Jenny over there in pots. And um, I gotta do this pot now. I'm calling Don to take the first trip to the mailbox because he can't stack them the way he did bringing them up. You're so efficient. I like I like this kind of help. Yep. <laughs> that one's ready to go too. Be cool. And then the watering can. Yes, ma'am. You want your wheelbarrow up over there? I can handle that. Thank you. You're welcome. Take a picture for me while you're down there. Yes, ma'am. <laughs>